Hello, my name is Tom Antos and today I wanted to show you guys a brand new LED light that just entered the market. Uh, this one's produced by Aperture. It's a company uh, that I already reviewed uh, a few products from them like uh, their, their uh, VS2 and VS3 uh, portable field monitors, which I'm a big fan of. And also their DEC uh, lens adapter, which allows you to uh, remotely adjust the aperture and the focus of, uh, in, your, in, in your lenses. Uh, this is, uh, as far as I know, the first light that they've ever produced but it's a very, very solid, solid product, very, very well produced uh, light. Uh, some of the, I would say the, the biggest, the coolest features about this light is that uh, it has a really big, powerful uh, LED bulbs. Altogether, this uh, light outputs uh, equivalent of about 1000 watt uh, tungsten light. Uh, so re really, really powerful. Uh, so you can use it both as a key light, um, you know, or even if you wanted to, for example, diffuse it and still use it as a key light, you'll have enough uh, power and there's enough light uh, to, like I said, to properly diffuse it and, and still get a, a good exposure on your subject. Uh, overall, the light is very solidly produced. It's made out of uh, aluminum, uh, uh, which is an airplane grade aluminum. Um, it, it has a heatsink here throughout the, the back. It's a very thin LED light, uh, especially once you fold the, the barn doors. But as you can see, uh, it doesn't have any other things here on the back. Uh, b b because this whole back area is, is essentially a giant heatsink. So because of that, it doesn't have any actual moving fans. So the light is super quiet, uh, yet it uh, dissipates the heat very well. Uh, has professional quality Limo connectors up here. This is for the power uh, and to control the light. Uh, and also the, the barn doors here are very sturdy. Uh, you can easily adjust them to any positions and they stay in there. Uh, you know, very nice light. Now, some of the other cool things about it is that uh, it comes here, like I said, with this Lima connector and you connect this to the, the control board. So this is the, your whole control board. Um, you just plug it here on the top. The, if you don't know anything about the Lima connectors, the cool thing about them is that they're, you know, they're not going to unplug on you. You have to specifically go up here, grab it and kind of push it up. And then only then does the, the cable actually come out. Uh, now, uh, as you'll notice, the, the controller itself has a um, V-mount battery, so you, you can you know you can use any any standard V-mount batteries. Uh, I believe you can also get it for winter Anton Bauer uh, batteries. Um, so that's pretty cool. Has DMX in and out, so if you're uh, you know connecting this to a studio or like a live DJ and you have a lighting board uh, that you want to use, uh, you can use that to remotely control the light. Uh, eh, but it, this whole unit also comes actually with a remote control. Uh, this one that allows you to control the, the light, you can turn it on and off, you know, and the intensity, but also it allows you to, to kind of bank the lights together and connect them in a series, and then you can control up to three lights uh, simultaneously or individually. And to power it, it uses 15 volts, uh, so any kind of power source using an XLR connection. So it comes with an AC adapter, uh, that you plug into the, to your outlet and then has an XLR output on the other side. Uh, but like I said, you can use any other XLR power source or a V-mount or Anton Bauer uh, battery. And so once it's plugged in, uh, you know, we can power it in using this thing. Uh, hopefully, you know, uh, to really see just how powerful this light is, you, you really just gotta, like I said, you gotta get the light or rent it out and, and try it out because it's, uh, you know, lighting here is all relevant to the, the settings that I have in the camera, obviously. Um, but as you can see up here, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm at 10% intensity. You can go from anywhere from 10 to 100% uh, percent, uh, and one, one, uh, one percent, you know, uh, step. So it's really cool. You can, you can really gradually kind of change it. And as you can see, you can go here and using the remote, I, I can add the lights. So for example, now I've gone to 11, 12, 13, or I can just hold it and it will brighten the light, you know, all the way up to 100 uh, degrees. Um, yeah, really, really cool feature. The remote works very well, uh, which is it's handy if uh, you know, for example, you mount the light somewhere really high, uh, and you don't want to you know always be p putting the, the the light down to turn it around and off or to adjust intensity. Then you have this. Um, but like I said, uh, aside from it, what's what I like about the light is that it's just very solidly built. Uh, you know, here you know, tighten it on this light stand. You can see once you tighten it here, this attachment is very strong. Uh, you know, uh, aluminum, you know, airplane grade aluminum, uh, the heat sink, very quiet operation. The fact that you have the controller board away from the light, again, allows you to, like I said, if the light is higher, you can just directly use this to control it. Uh, it even comes with a little here uh, uh, adapter and like a little strap. So you can 
flip this and you can sort of hang it on your light stand you know or directly attach it to the light wh whatever it is that, that's more convenient for you and, and one of the really the, the bigger and cooler specs about this light is that it has a 95 or over 95 CRI, uh, CRI value which uh, if you don't know what that is that's a color uh, rendering index now most uh, LED lights have a color rendering index of around 80 between 80 and 85 um, now that some of the higher ones, you know, higher end LED lights will go uh, above 90. Very rarely you're gonna get anything that goes above 95. The, the ultimate, you know, the highest you can get is 100. 100 is really the, the, the only light source out there that can be given 100 CRI value is the sun. Uh, that means that the color rendition is always the same, you know, it's perfectly matched. Uh, now this light is balanced at, at 5,500 uh, Kelvin temperature. So that means that with the high CRI value, uh, if you just set your camera uh, white balance to 5,500, uh, that you're gonna get perfect, you know, white neutral uh, color light. So that's a really, really cool thing. Uh, like I said, it just makes it easier for, uh, you know, especially if you're doing interviews and things like that, and you don't have, you know, you're quick on the go, you don't have time to, uh, to do custom white balance and things like that, then that's where uh, having a really high CRI, uh, I, CRI value uh, uh, LED light, uh, uh, you know, comes in really handy. Also, because you can power the light using Anton Bauer, V-mount, or any XLR power input, that means it's a great field light uh, that you can quickly you know, take with you on setup and power anywhere. Uh, and overall, really great product. Now, I haven't really had a chance to use it on any actual production yet. I just got the light. I uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys how it looks. I'll definitely do a follow-up video once I actually have a chance to use it. Now, the only setting where I did use this light is kind of for my own little uh, personal project. And that's, uh, you know, my wife asked me to take her, uh, her maternity photos for her. So I decided to use this light because, again, it's, it's a pretty, uh, it's a cool light. It does not, you know, uh, generate a lot of heat and also doesn't uh, use up a lot of power. Uh, but yet it outputs a, you know, a lot of light. So uh, I was able to use this light with a huge diffusion in front of it and get these kind of looking photos up here. Um, it's you know basically allowed me to have a really nice soft lighting, uh, uh, yet be able to shoot you know at a fairly low ISO because the light outputs so much power. And again, because having the remote control, it came in handy because I could you know while sitting with the camera and kind of adjusting the camera settings, I could then at the same time adjust the intensity of, of the light. Uh, definitely make sure you guys check back for the follow-up video once I actually have a chance to use this on an actual production. Uh, and uh, you know, but overall, like I said, a really solid product. Uh, I, I've been really happy with, with all the products so far that I've tested out from this company, which is Aperture. Uh, uh, if you guys want to see the reviews of, uh, of uh, you know, some of the other products from this company, like the monitors or the, the DC uh, lens adapter, or if you want to see reviews of, or of any other camera gear uh, or filmmaking tutorials, uh, as always, make sure you, you go and visit my website at tomatosfilms.com. Uh, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.